Organise your life with Evernote. Level 2, Week 2, Advanced Evernote and Using the Power of Skitch. Presented by Tech Coach HQ. Skitch for Desktop, Mac and Windows. Step 1. Download Skitch and install the app for Mac Windows desktop platform. Step 2. Log in with your Evernote account details to sync with Evernote. Step 3. Start using Skitch to take screenshots just like print screen. Take a screen snap of desired image, i.e. a map, website or just an image. Mark up the image using the Skitch tools. 3. Drag the image to desired location via the tab at the bottom of Skitch. And now we're going to do it. To start using Skitch, you will first need to sign in with your Evernote credentials. This will appear up in the top left hand corner. To start using Skitch, you come over here to all your options and click on the drop down arrow. You can see we have a full screen option, screen snap, time screen snap or a print screen. Choose your camera from your device or the desktop. Open an image or PDF or we start with a blank canvas. That's just a pure white page. I'm going to start with a screen snap. Now, when you're taking a screen snap, it's always the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner and it comes with a crosshair bow. So there's my crosshair. I'm going to use Canva. Now, Canva isn't a great tool. It's canva.com. And I'm just going to take an image. So here it is. You can see that. Now try and line up as clear as you can. Top left. So click and hold. Click. Hold. And try and get as much as better. So I'm quite happy with that. If you're not, just use these little blue circles to reorganize it. And you can click capture. And here is my image. Now, down the left-hand side, I have all these different options, which we've mentioned in the workbook. I have an arrow, I can add type text, a shape, pen tool, stamps, pixelate, great for text and images, my cropping tool, color, so here's all the colors and you can choose from the extra color palette. And my lines, so again you can choose how thick you want it. Down here, it says how large I'm actually viewing the image at. Here's what I'm going to name it. So I'm going to name it uh, App Quote Technology and press Enter to save it. So it's a really good idea to try and save it as clearly as you can as you'll be able to find it later on. Here is a tab that I was talking about before. This is what you use to drag into anything else. So if I click pick this up, you can see I can even move it back into Canva again to use later on. So we'll go back into Sketch. So here, and here's my dimensions down here. If I want to export just this image, just like with Evernote, I can do email, Twitter, Facebook, add to iPhoto, share and copy the website, share, copy and open, and we've also got other options that we can use. Best part of Evernote, though, with Sketch is is looking for all these images. So I currently have 1,911 images in here. And this is how I use it for all my presentations. Now Evernote, again, remember, is really smart at looking for text within images. So if I just simply type the word Evernote, it will come up where everywhere where they will find the word Evernote in an image or where I've actually labeled that. So the smarter you are with your labeling of your images, the easier, more easier it will be to find. So just go back to the images again. So I'll take the search off. When I am cropping an image, I can also change the resolution as well. So here you can see I can change it. And I've got the ability to change the height and width. This is probably an easy option, just going down like this. And again, apply and then drag and drop. So it might go into a Word document, a keynote, an email, or whatever you actually need to use it for. So that's all for the desktop use of Evernote and Sketch. What I forgot to show in the previous section was actually how to mark up an image. So I'm just going to choose another image to mark up and show actually how I do it. 
So for example, here is one on about post-it notes. So if I need to show exactly what I'm wanting to discuss, I can use the arrows and point it exactly uh, to where I want it. I can then use text, so I click here. Again, the size of the text is going to be determined by um, here in thickness. So I choose this to be thicker. So just type it in and I've got it in red. Then again, if remember, I want to use the pen tool. Now I have two options here, pen and highlighter, marker and highlighter. And my favorite is one of the stamps. So here I call them these the sticky sort of stamps and you've got rejected, attention, question, approved and perfect. I love the approved one. So once you've clicked that, go back, click here. Now it becomes a tick. Once you click it again, you get the plus icon and the text. If you click that plus icon, you get the arrow. And from there, I can then rotate it. If I click in the text box, And type fix. I can then move that anywhere I want to now. Pixelate. Again, pixelate works on the premise of top left to bottom right. So I just need to move, remove this, say. And then I'm happy with that. So it's removed that and it removes the text. So it's also great for images. If I need to undo, Command Z or Control Z. So I'm just going to undo these few things because I actually need this image. Again, it's easy to drag. So if I've got an email, go to sketch and drag and drop. And there is the image straight in. It's already to go and that makes it really handy. And again, I've labeled it correctly so I can find it for future reference. Thanks for watching Evernote. Week 2, Advanced Evernote and using the power of Sketch, presented by Tech Coach HQ.